what, what I did is there's many aspects to this movie and I think that the CGI part of it, I was prepared for. Like I spent a year um, preparing it, storyboarding it, doing animatics, going over it again, bringing ILM to Philadelphia, walking through it again over and over and over, doing drafts, really thinking about it, how we were going to shoot it, how long the shot was going to be, overly analyzing it so it was there. But there are other parts to making a movie this size that were not, I didn't give like 100% of that kind of attention to, like the epic scale of it with the extras and the size of the sets and how much the physical, like a military operation it would be when you get on the set. And that, that was overwhelming. Um, and so I, was, I underestimated that. The CGI, I think I, you know, because I thought I knew it was going to be an enormous burden gave it all the attention through the process and even through post. I was the last person to come on set and everyone else was cast. And um, I got there and, you know, everyone had already been talking about characters and training and, you know, I was really nervous, but he's a, you know, he's got such a good sense of humor. So, you know, everyone had a, you know, most of all, we just had such a great time on set, just goofing around and, you know, having fun. And I knew from the start that 85% of the audience that was going to see this movie uh, in the world, and even in the United States, was going to see this for the first time. That this was going to be a mythology that they were going to see for the first time. It's 100% meant for that audience. Uh, and I want the fans of the show to be really, really excited and proud of that their story is being told to the world. But it was meant for the general audience to kind of watch and get taken away with this completely unique tonality of kind of an epic movie uh, mythology with Asian philosophies, the martial arts, a kind of Shakespearean backstory of the villains. It should be something that you could just let go of very quickly uh, and get, get, get the mythology and go, oh, I can't wait to see what happens next. I guess it was something different for me, uh, you know, after after finishing Slumdog, they, they, you know, the sort of characters I was getting, I didn't feel would really challenge me, and um, this came along, and I, I, me as a person, I'm such a big fan of films like Lord of the Rings and, and you know, Harry Potter, and I'm, I was so intrigued on how they do these things, you know, and, you know, I'd never worked with green screen or anything like that, you know, Slumdog is the far opposite of that, and um, this was just so interesting, you know, on the sets, and you know, seeing how it all worked and, you know, having all these fight sequences and things, it was really a great experience. Well, I'd like to say Bruce Lee. <laughs> I'm not half as good as him. Uh, uh, yeah, he was, he was, he was, he was cool. You know, I've grown up loving Bruce Lee. I'm a massive fan of his. And Jackie Chan and Jet Li and, and all those, the big sort of um, martial arts heroes. I think everyone can sort of relate to it in, in a weird way. More than anything, I mean, it's hard because you have to stay true to the essence of the cartoon and the character, but also you know, try and make it as human as possible. And you know, certain scenes, the whole film was storyboarded and you know, we were stepping into these situations which Knight had already planned. So that, that was, you know, that was, it was sort of limiting in a way. And there were certain times we did have to stay true to the sort of scenes in the cartoon where the character is genuinely angry and screaming and you have to do that. But wherever there's a, you know, there's a few points where, you know, we'd rehearse and find a, a different approach to a scene. It was nice to add that sort of vulnerability to the character. And, um, you know, he's just, a, he's just a boy, really, struggling and very confused guy. He's incredibly confused and tormented, you know. This is uh, the first part of three stories, uh, th a three-part story, excuse me. Um, and, you know, I wanted to let you know where you were in the story at the end of this movie. So you had a clear sense of what was going to happen next. And the second part of the story takes place in the Earth Kingdom and it's very cool and dark and uh, a lot of new characters are introduced, including uh, Zuko's sister, who's very villainous. That we are born, we have not 
Geheimnisse müssen wir herausfinden.